why is rock marching good? Why should I rock march? I'm gonna be honest with you. If you don't know this already, you obviously haven't seen my two minute drills, notoriously way over two minutes. Why is rock marching good? I hate PT. I, I if I had a choice, but why do I do it? Um, I'll be honest, I'm not a PT stud by any means. I, I think uh, my, my I hate PT part one, I put my APFT score from about 12 months from when I made this video. Uh, I took four PT, uh, four record APFTs in the past 12 months since I've made that video, uh, and I fluctuated uh, up and down. But I, I despise taking APFT. I mean, I get my stomach feels funny. I get, you know, I get stuffy and I don't feel good in my throat. The day before, I get all worried and hyped up and like, oh, what you know, what am I doing? So I, I, I don't like working out, I don't like exercising. Most recently, I've been exercising more for the performance. The reason why I rock more than I do any other exercises is because it not only helps with my cardiovascular endurance, it also helps me with my hip flexors. It also helps me with just my overall legs. It helps me with my core, my shoulders, my back. And these are all muscles that you're using throughout the APFT. Yes, you're not carrying a rock. And yes, if you want to improve on, on, on a very specific, specific event, do things that are directly related to the performance of that event, right? You want to improve your push-ups, do more push-ups, do tricep dips. You want to improve your sit-ups, do more sit-ups, do leg raises. If you want to improve your run, run sprints run whatever it is but i feel that ruck marching it's it's one of those things that it, it works so many different muscle groups right because i'm jogging during my ruck i'm not simply just walking uh so that that helps with my cardiovascular endurance and my leg muscles that are pushing me when i'm doing the uh slightly faster than airborne shuffle with my rucksack it's helping me with my back and, and, and my shoulders for when I do push-ups. It, it's helping me with my hip flexors and my core for when I'm doing sit-ups. So just the act of doing uh, 12 miles a week, right? Four miles every day, or four miles three times a week. It, it, it helps me with all those muscle groups that overall conditioning exercise uh, and, and a little bit of improvement. Uh, depending on what your fitness level is and how and for me how hard I push but I, I noticed that my sit-ups have been the highest that has ever been uh, in the past four years I want to say my push-ups have not increased but it hasn't decreased significantly without doing push-ups regularly and my run time has maintained so that's why I rock that's a byproduct of my rocking right a byproduct of I improve my rock which means that if I do go to any kind of ASI schools or I'm able to maintain my fitness on the ruck march, if it requires a ruck march or, in, or you know, field exercises, which maintains uh, my APFT fitness as a byproduct, if you get what I mean. So you may be asking the so what of what I'm trying to relay regarding ruck march. Just do it. If you are able, if your commander allows you to bring your TA-50 home with you, uh, even if it's you know for maintenance after field exercise so you can wash your stuff clean it and then repack it for the next field exercise bring it home with you um, watch videos on how to properly pack your ruck uh, I've watched two great videos on this topic and as a matter of fact one of the best videos that I've watched was a cadetto right an uh, army cadet that put a very comprehensive video about five or so years ago on how to how he packs his ruck and I mirror a lot of the things that he said you know i've spent probably a couple of a few hours you know combined of adjusting my rucksack adjusting where i put stuff adjusting where my frame is in relative to the bag uh, where my straps are you know i've adjusted my straps and my back my back piece I've spent a lot of time just trying things out and filling it out. Matter of fact, I'm not even done with my adjustments. You know, where my kidney pad is. Uh, these are the things that I'm continually improving. And, and, it, and it's making it easier for me to pack what I can carry to the field and feel comfortable taking it for long distance if I have to. And if you can bring your, your rucksack with you, right? And I would avoid wearing ACH and IOTV in, in the streets doing your ruck march. But if you can't bring your rucksack with you, which is all you need, watch my videos on I Hate PT where I talk about your backpack, right? Get a good solid backpack, good zippers. You don't have to go out there and spend 200 bucks on it. Find a backpack that you already have. Go to a you know thrift store or army surplus store and get one of those old BDUs assault packs or one of those old rucksacks that they have or any regular backpacks for a couple bucks 
and just start throwing stuff in there, right? How many laptops you got laying around the house, right? How many cans of beans or corn or whatever you got in there? You got ankle weights? Throw that bad boy in there. What do you have? Rocks. Throw rocks in there and wrap that bad boy in blankets. Just make sure that protect it well so you don't, you know, damage it. Uh, you know, throw some, you know, some light blankets on there just to give it a little pad and a little cushion and separate the heavy stuff from the, 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 the fragile stuff. The biggest win is the incremental changes in your lifestyle, incremental, incremental changes in your fitness habits, right? And over time, if you push and you push, eventually you discover new things that will get you to the next level of your fitness goals. All right, guys, enough of this. <laughs> Thank you for uh, hanging with me on this drive time. Uh, I'm almost home, hopefully, another 30 minutes. But thank you for hanging with me on this drive time. Make sure to check out some of my other videos. Uh, and I'll see you in the next drive time. Peace.